right, so we are an Intel ambassador and today's stream is going to be us building a PC with the O11 and we're gonna be using Leon Lee mirrored fans in the case as well. So I haven't taken the PC out of the box. So it's gonna be a Monka S. You guys can see me struggle with the box, it will be nice. We have the motherboard, ASRock, EVGA, G7, and then we're using the G-Skill, DDR5, mainly streamers, mirrored fans, look from that, and then O11 Vision. And that's a new case. The only thing is, at some point, this is gonna be really tricky. I'm gonna take my 3080 out of my gaming PC right now, which is what I have, and I have a 4060 here. So I'm gonna take my 3080 VR Paradox, like custom painted it, so it's a custom white EVGA GPU. I'm gonna have to put that one in this PC eventually, and then put the 40, 4060 into that one but i don't want to have to take my gpu out so we might just do this one right now and then i'll transfer it at the end of the night because then all my audio and stuff is like tied to it which would mean gd stream Ooh. i have used that bad boy i don't know but i can squat with it Ooh. you have two screws for the top and then you have two down here and then you have two on the bottom, which I already took out, which go over here. And then the glass just pops off like that. Then you just lift. And it's okay. Guys, so take out the motherboard. Ta da! You have the Wi Fi dongle. So this goes in the back. The motherboard. I don't know what these are for. Screws, plates, nice. Dude, this motherboard is actually so nice. This is the motherboard. It's upside down again. It's AS Rock Nova. Oh! Before I forget. So this is the Intel i9 14700A. This is where she drops it. What? No! That's rigged! Oh, jinx! He's in his case. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then you put it on. Okay, why is this scaring me? <gasps> I didn't put it the right way, right? Okay. Three, two, one. Dude, I don't think it's the right way. Okay, so I'm just placing it like this. Look. Tell me, I just I just want to make sure I'm not putting it wrong. Look. Did you push down on it? Uh, why is it upside down? Push the plate down? Yeah. It, it will have tension. Don't worry. It will pop right off. Yeah, I locked it. And the CPUs scare me sometimes. My other CPUs never had to do that. There was never like the fucking tension thing. All right. Next part, we're gonna do the RAM. CPU is secured. RAM time. Look how pretty they are. Sick. I'm gonna do two and four. Ugh. Ugh. All right. That's it. Ta da. So now we're gonna do the M.2. Is this a stick for attention? What is this? How do I remove that? Ow! Oh! <gasps> Sick! Alright, so you just push and slide. Nice! Okay, there's like an anti-static pad on here, like a thermal pad. So, in order to take that off, you just needed to push a circle, which I didn't even know. You just push it off to the side and you lift. SSD. Sick! Clapping! We did it! It's locked in there. So I literally had to slide it in all the way and then I had to twist it. Sick! Next part is putting this on. Okay, so I guess there's a thermal pad on there. I took off the blue and just, nice. Just place it on like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring my PC and take off the back panel. It should be magnetized. All right, there you go. Nice. Okay, I can actually put this in. This is my screw kit. This is the Papulo and this is my little electric tiny screwdriver. This is more for like the outside, it's more of the inside. Nice, okay, so that one fits. Placing another screw on the side. And I have a little tiny screw in the upper corner, but I don't think you guys can see it. There is one little tiny one in here. Okay, that one's different. I'm just gonna skip that one, even though it seems like a bad idea. Why is it better because it's what I could afford. First of all, I just want to know what makes people think, oh, a 3080 Ti, you think good? 
What makes you think that? Oh, so the AIO is in this. So these are the fans that my AIO came with. And this is the Lickmax ARGB by Intermax. Plates in here. And then I have the RGB controller, I think. So I'm gonna need to take this off real fast. Hold on. So I'm putting one of these. See how everything else has these like razors? So I'm putting this in here. So now that I have this one in, I need to go to the back of the motherboard, find the plate. So the plate that's gonna go on here, okay, this is Intel on the back of it. Intel. So I'm checking the back of the PC. And then the washer's still on. Oh yeah, you gotta put it in at the same time. All right, and it fits! Ta-da! Ooh, ooh, look at the reflection. <gasps> oh my God, look at that. Okay, the next part, I think I need to put something under it. Yeah, I lock it in with the steam, which would be... These? Why is it giving me something else? Okay, I have these ones. Freaking, look, see, these ones. But then I have these ones. These are for AMD. I have the standoffs. Install the back plate. Fix the back plate with the stand. So it's this. Oh, I was putting it the wrong way. So I just twist it on, and then what? So I just twist it then. So AIO, put on. All the screws are sticking out, right? And then you screw it. So I don't need a razor. Huh? All right. I'm gonna set this down now, so it's kind of like locked on. Okay, so this goes... Okay, are these not the screws for it? What is going on? I just want to see if it fits. Yay, it fits! Woo! Now that we have that down, I just connect the bottoms like this, right? Because they all connect. So I initially, because I daisy chain them, and I just snap it. <gasps> That's actually legitness! That's so sick! Nice! Okay, that was one thing how that was. Only one cable. I love that! So these are also mirrored on the sides. So these are the SL 120s, right? Look at them now. Take it in. Is this the same controller that comes with my, um... This is only for my fans, right? So my fans and my streamers will be different. So this... I'm gonna put it on the back. But then I need to find somewhere to place it when I have it plugged in. So I'm gonna wait until I have some stuff plugged in. All right, should I have it like this or should I have it up like all the way like that? All righty, I'll be ready. All right, did the thermal paste, okay. Okay, and then I don't want this to be like in the way. Okay, now how do I do this? How did I just have the screws and then I lost it? Like, they were just here. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna fucking use these. I think I'm gonna have to take my GPU out of the box. Well, I'm gonna do vertical clearance. I don't have a vertical mount. I'm basically stripping the vertical mount and the GPU from that PC. Yeah, I'm taking it out of the other. So my 3080 is coming out of my, my gaming PC currently, and then it's gonna go in here. So you guys don't think there's gonna be any clearance, but I probably don't because my GPU comes out over here. So there probably isn't going to be any clearance. And then... I got to mount the fans. A little brief on what we did so far. So, we did the CPU, did the motherboard, found out there's a missing piece for the little screws on the back of the motherboard, then also found out that uh, we couldn't put the CPU, like the AIO, the bracket on the back. So how to take out the motherboard completely, but then found the missing piece. Put the brackets for the AIO, and then remounted the motherboard. Did the AIO replace the fans with the Leoni SL mirror fans? These are the 120s. This is a 360 millimeter cooler. We did the fans and everything. We're doing one fan in the back. Three fans on the bottom. They're 120. I uh, left a gap here because it's gonna be vertical mount, and you probably won't even see it. The mount's gonna be there, so it's perfectly fine. Move the fans up forward. The pump was on the bottom, but it had no clearance with the GPU, so we moved it back up. And this is how the GPU looks currently. That was a breakdown of what we've done this past time. Let's finish this, shall we? Okay, so I put a USB hub. My USB hub. So this is like an attachment to it. So you plug it in, and then I'm just gonna keep this in the back. So this is just a little nest. It's actually really great. I have one of these in my current computer. Now, for the but let's go ahead and start plugging these in. I mean, no way the MOBA doesn't have enough use. Why do you need so many? Because I'm going to have to do this one and then I'm gonna have to do the other one for my streamers. Okay, so this little dude, where does, okay, this go, what is this thing? Oh, so this goes in here? 
doesn't look like it belongs in there. Okay, this little piece goes at the top. That goes there. This goes in the fan header. I'm gonna put this into my nest. So this goes in the nest. This goes... I don't know where these go. I know my fans plug into this, but my only thing is like, these go into these? No. Oh! Oh! Hey, there you go. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. You guys are making me feel like I'm going crazy. I'm just a liar. Okay. Got a two. He's the old bad boy. So this goes into where? The USB on the bottom. And then that's in my USB hub. So this is already kind of pretty. So I kind of like it. Cute. All right, that's what we did so far. I'm just gonna leave these open because we're gonna put in my PS2 right now. And now that I have this, so this is PSU, motherboard, and here, and here. Nice! Okay, so I plugged in my motherboard and I plugged in a SATA cable. This goes into one because it's in the one slot. I still don't understand what the f this goes into. What is the three pin? I found it! I just needed a little force. I was being too gentle. I just had to shove it in there. <sighs> no, we're just gonna pretend that it holds there, okay? Okay. Uh, this. After this, I need my GPU cables. I have this. Okay, this is also a SATA. All right, this goes... I don't think I have another one of these. Oh, sh... I'm missing this. I didn't plug this in. Okay, wait. Can I plug this in here? No. Okay, this goes... Okay. Nice. This goes into my motherboard, but then this one has to go into this controller, but this has to go from down here. I think I'm just gonna let this one just chill down here. That way, it is a lot easier. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit there, and then this goes here. And everything else I gotta put through here. I think I'm just gonna put my PSU in and then do all the because all my cables are just getting all wonky wonky. Okay, this is gonna go here. And this is big chilling right here. It was a tight fit, but we got to 10. Look at all these wires. My OCD is screaming. Oh, now this is all messed up. My PSU is going around it. So I remove this from my- Jesus Christ. It's just in there! Okay. Now, these wires are together. Okay. We're good! Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna cable management this at all. Like, I'm stressed just looking at this. Okay, so I'm taking these out so you clip them together in the back. Right if you spit on your cables, they work better. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, we do a look at it, Chan. Okay, but like, I'm butt fing lost. Do I not need to plug in the middle controller? I'm annoyed. This won't go in. You know what? I'm just gonna say and just plug it into somewhere random, and if it turns on, it turns on. Hallelujah. Don't do that. I'm gonna do it because there's three holes, and there's three holes somewhere else on the motherboard, so I'm just gonna. Okay, so that should be good. I'm just gonna let my nest start right there. This is the one that's gonna sit on the top. I'm going to put this. So then this goes. All right, back is done. I can't take out my 3080 right now. So we're gonna do the 4060. This was only $367. I know, it's actually really pretty. You should see the white one. The white one's actually gorgeous. Do I need to remove? I don't need to remove this plate, do I? I remove the sides. Like, I don't have anything blocking it. Yeah, I think I got it in. No, I didn't get it in. Okay. 
All right. Where are the pliers? Yeah. Let me look. Because these are are going behind the PC, and these need to go behind the motherboard. They're going behind the case. So I need to bend them in so it goes behind the motherboard. I've done it before with my 2070. Uh, my 3070 wouldn't fit. So look, it doesn't go. See, look, it's going behind. Y'all can call me crazy. I've done this before to my 3070 because it wouldn't fit. When I put the GPU in, it's sitting out here, which is not letting the GPU sit. So I'm bending it so it sits behind the motherboard, which is why I need to bend it because it's just take, gonna take chunks out of the motherboard. See, look, now it's actually going in. <sighs> and it looks really nice. Yep. I'm gonna do my little prayer before it turns on. My suck it. The only thing is, my streamers aren't working. Wait, these streamers work, but the top ones don't. No RGB on fans. I think it's because there's a switch on there that I have to flip. Now, let's see if I can fix my fan. No! Yeah, I'm so fucking good. No, it's not gonna boot up. I'm gonna be getting this GPU out and it's gonna be vertical mounted in there. So the 4060 right now is just a placeholder for my four, for my 3080 Ti, which I'm gonna put in later on. So yeah. So this is just temporarily because I have three eight pins, which is for that. That's gonna go in there, vertical in there, and yep. Nice. Ah! Let's go high five chat. It's beautiful. So I need, I need to get my spare Ethernet cable. And then first I need to switch out the GPU tomorrow. So first thing I do when I wake up, switch out the GPU, and then put the Ethernet in, download all my games, switch everything out, move all the wires, and I need to do all that tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you all had a lovely, 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 lovely day slash night thank you guys for hanging out with me and making fun of me and helping me i appreciate it this was definitely an experience and different from like my usual builds so it was very different to like get used to leon lee parts and everything i'm usually used to nzxt so i appreciate you all gonna fix it tomorrow adjust a few things but um i kind of want to play games <laughs>